YT stands for Yes, boss, boss, back in the end video. Um, quick shout out before I start. Um, shout out to Pop Culture 424, his little clip of his channel. Okay, so this is Pop Culture 424's channel. Um, again, it's in the link in the description, so don't forget to check it out. Um, great content, great videos. Would highly recommend checking out his channel. And yeah, let's have a quick look on his videos. Again, he's got live, he does live streams, he does test cams, VHS tips, stuff like that. Speed draws, even like house robots, book review, he does, he does quite a lot of stuff. And he's got 141 subscribers, congratulations on that. Um, but anyways... I will uh, leave it there. Okay, so that's his little clip of the channel done. Uh, moving on to the news. Now, there is rumours, in fact this is true, that Chris Chibnall is leaving Doctor Who after season 12. And so is Jodie Whittaker. And um, basically, they're not going to show the full se season 12, they're going to show the... Um, like about four or five episodes of it and then the Christmas special and basically it's the shortest Doctor Who it's only been on for a couple of seasons basically and we've all been hyped up to see like the Jodie Whittaker stories and stuff like that and I think this is the end of the road for Doctor Who because from what I've heard is that after Judy Whittaker and Chris Chibnall leaves, basically there's no more Doctor Who. And that means it's cancelled. Now, we don't know if it's going to be fully cancelled or not, but from what I've heard is it's, it's at the point where it's getting cancelled. And I hope not because Doctor Who is one of my favourite shows. Even though I've had some ups and downs lately, and I like reviewing episodes, I like I like watching Doctor Who no matter what it is, and yet yeah, after season to what a season series twelve, Jodie's leaving, and so is Chris Chibnall, as they're not very happy with the like behind the scenes and stuff. I didn't want the. I didn't want it to end that fast. I wanted to end like, like, about end of twenty twenty maybe or no twenty nineteen. Because all they've just done is push Jodie around. Because yeah, the stories are a bit too weird. Because some people may not like the stories because the Jodie Whittaker is um, a bit too fast. She doesn't know. She's going a bit too slow with like what her personality is and stuff um, but all we've picked up from personality wise is that we've got a bit of a David Tennant reference Matt Smith reference and that's about it because there's, there's literally nothing else that they're going to show they're not even going to um, they're not even going to push themselves and to be honest, this is 100% true. I think that Doctor Who is going to leave. And I, and that is quite sad because Doctor Who is, again, one of my favourite one of my favorite TV series and I won't give up on it. But meaning it's going to be the last series for the 13th Doctor and Chris Chibnall. We don't know yet if there's going to be a different Doctor. We don't know if it's going to be a, another producer, whatever, what's his name. Basically, if they found no one else, that is end of Doctor Who. And this is 100% true, because I swear down, this is not a lie. And if you look on so many videos, I've seen a few, where they're talking about Jodie Whittaker leaving Doctor Who after Series 12, along with Chris Chibnall. 
and um, you get so many people in the comment section saying, oh yay, goodbye Team Tardis, yay! You know, alright you don't like the episodes, but some people do. And it's quite upsetting to see Doctor Who go like that, because they've just basically given up, they've done alright, one season, all right, we'll we'll try a bit, and then as soon as I found out they're getting rubbish and the view and the views are pretty low, um, they've said right, that's it, I'm out of here. I'm not, want, I don't want anything to do with Doctor Who no more. And basically, this is sad because people are not responding. Well, people view the Doctor Who videos like I do. People see episodes. People watch them. As for me, I review them, so it does other people, and I think that Chris Chibnall has pushed Jodie Whittaker too far when it comes to acting, because I know she's a great actor, actress, whichever the two, but they're not letting her show it because it's Doctor Who, they're trying to be family friendly. And I get that there's some youngsters down, you know, watching this and beginning to watch the show. What happens if one of the favourite doctors was Jodie Whittaker and yet pff, two, two seasons gone? She hasn't even lasted a year. And that's quite sad because next year is the final year of Jodie Whittaker for season 12. And it's going to be about five or six episodes, or four or five, six episodes. And I'll say the Christmas special, which is for 2020. But my opinion is, no matter what happens, do not do, do not. I don't even know what I'm going to say. Like, literally, do not give up on casting Doctor Who, because Doctor Who... Don't get me wrong, Doctor Who is a great show, but they have just could have made it, made it more interesting for people to watch. That's why it's cutting down, that's why people are cutting down on it, because the view counts as, aren't as high as they expect. And if my dog does not shut up, there we go, and also, like, I wonder what's going to happen if there's no Doctor Who, because... Next thing you know, just going to be gone, forgotten. And maybe at some point in the future, I don't know if it'll actually happen or not, someone's going to bring it back like they did with the Eighth Doctor. Not, not the Eighth Doctor, the Ninth Doctor. But I feel like they could have just worked a bit hard on their episodes because they've, they've literally not, they've literally not done the best with Doctor Who. But I, I know that they can do better because I have that cut feeling where all right, they're going to leave the show, but I'm hoping that it's not going to be the last Doctor Who show ever. I hope it's going to be carried on because I want it to be carried on. It's going to be, I want it to be fantastic, brilliant. And I also like saying Doctor Who references sometimes because then people know what I'm on about. But it's quite sad to see Doctor Who go like this, even though the view counts are really bad, people reviews are poor, you know, with the episodes, they've got their own a judgement. Now, if, if I was a showrunner, I would have basically would have changed up the titles to look, make it look more bigger on the inside, like not compact and tight. Make it so it's like noticeable. And make it so it pops out but keep the design like the Capaldi and Matt Smith era TARDIS but with like a few like differences like you know with the Capaldi when he changed like the setup and the theme or we'll change the computer, change the um, controls, you could change the floor, change anything. I just wish they could have done a bit better on that. And the sonic screwdriver is actually a good screwdriver. All right, it looks like it's basically in dildo. Sorry for putting that out there, but hey. Um, 
it's something that people have to live with no matter what things look like it's technology it's some it's meant to look alien it's meant to look something organic and from fresh hands and unlike previous sonics where it's been made from the tardis this one's been made by hand from sheffield with the spoons and that was actually pretty cool to see like the, the screwdriver being built and i'm also trying my best to try and get the carrot options version but at the minute my college hasn't sorted my bloody blimmin bursary out but, but, but yeah bless bursary so yes so as for that that's all i've got to say um i'm, I'm actually recording this the same day as i just uploaded a video um of <laughs> thank you and um this will be uploaded tomorrow well today which is on Thursday, so Friday, I'm going to be reacting to my older videos, that's a promise. Um, so, I want you guys to leave your thoughts in the comment section below, and also, if you want to get a shout out for the Christmas special, comment down below, Christmas special shout out, and, uh, and you're automatically entered. And don't forget, if you are new, subscribe today, and also like the video, and comment down below, subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next video. Alonzo, Alonzo.